Today's tough question is, what if my spouse doesn't love me anymore? My name is Lee Balkum and I'm the Internet's leading marriage expert. We want to look at this question today so that you'll understand exactly what's going on if you hear this. Now understand, I hear this lie more than any other, and I put lie in quotations for a reason. It represents two things. First, it represents a misunderstanding of love. And second, it's a rewriting of history for justification. Now, when we will confuse love and passion often in our culture. It's just kind of the way we think about these things. Love and passion are not the same thing. It's not that they're completely separate. It's just that they're not identical. Here's the truth. Love is a verb, an action word. It is acting lovingly towards someone. It's not a feeling we have. I love somebody because I do loving things towards them. As a side effect of that, I have an emotion and a feeling. But understand that passion is a side effect. It can be a side effect of love or, unfortunately, infatuation. But it's always a side effect. It's not the real thing. It's not love. And passion really is not even the goal. It is a nice extra. It's something that we all want to have in our relationship, in our marriage relationship, but it is really not the goal. It's just a side effect of when we act lovingly and consistently. We also all tend to rewrite history. We justify choices by rewriting events in our mind, and we also put our own spin on events so that when someone says, I don't love you, and I don't know that I ever loved you. It's not that they didn't love you. It's just that they need to rewrite it to justify their behavior and justify what they think they want to do. Don't get wrapped up in that. Don't believe the lie. Now, except your spouse genuinely feels this way. I'm not saying that they don't feel that way. It's just that you don't need to try to convince them otherwise because they, they think they feel that way. You just don't have to fall for it. You don't have to believe that what they say makes it correct. This allows you to, to have room to keep working on your marriage. If you just throw in the towel and say, okay, I agree with you, you didn't love me, you have nowhere to go. You're stuck. But if you realize that it's a justification that they're using, whether it's a, um, a, an actual uh, conscious decision or an unconscious decision, just recognize that it's a justification uh, for behavior. However, your spouse is telling you something important, and you need to listen to this. The feeling that he or she wants to have are not there. And the question is, are they there for you? Is it also true that you're not having those feelings that you would like to have? Perhaps you thought, well, things were okay, and maybe we'll get back to that part of our relationship down the road. Maybe it's the fact that your spouse is alerting to you to an important thing. Have you lost that special feeling that you would like to share with your spouse? Perhaps that is the truth of the statement. Now, this can be reversed. Understand that this isn't a death sentence to your marriage. You can regain that feeling. Your spouse can regain that feeling. But by working on the connection, not by trying to recreate the passion. And it's also by making a choice to stay connected instead of throwing in the towel. That's what I think is vitally important when a marriage decides to live by commitment. I have committed to be with you. That helps them to go through the times when the feeling is absent, and it's absent in every marriage at some point. Every marriage has to work to keep that as a part of their process, or it will go away. It's just part of the process. So if you want to learn more about saving your marriage and what to do about the situation, I want you to go now to www.savethemarriage.com. That's www.savethemarriage.com.